Josh Hensley, or Captain Jack, is described as a fixture, an icon, even a celebrity around the waters of Crystal River. Ask just about anyone, and they'll have a special memory to share. When he came paddling by... It was kind of like, uh, for the kids, like the ice cream truck coming by. Mm -hmm. They would all run out on the dock. And you knew who it was. Couldn't wait for him yeah, to walk off the back of that uh, paddleboard, and it would sink with him, and all, he, all of a sudden he would rise up out of the water. It was Josh Hensley, or as he's more commonly known, Captain Jack. He had the makeup on and the hair and the... The whole costume on. Every day we've seen Captain Jack in Big Lots. We've seen Captain Jack at Crackers having a meal. He was a staple in the community. Jack Sparrow. Sadly, the community of Crystal River has lost its beloved pirate. It still doesn't feel real. I see him every day out here. The Citrus County Sheriff's Office says 43 year old Hensley was last seen Saturday night launching his paddleboard from Hunter Springs Park to watch the sunset on Shell Island. He seemed super happy in a great mood. Laura Lou Fitzpatrick snapped this photo with her grandson before he left. I just didn't realize how valuable that picture will be now to me. When Hensley hadn't returned by Sunday night, a search was underway. Monday morning, his board was found near Pete's Pier, and by afternoon, Marine Unit deputies recovered his body in Kings Bay. News of the loss he did broke hearts of all ages. It's sad, sad that you know that we'll never see that guy again. Hensley built his own business, Bigfoot paddle boards, designing boards and creating art as well. If the husband and father taught people one thing, it's to live your passion. Have fun doing what you love, you know. Uh, don't take things too seriously. He did it because he loved it, you yeah. know. It, there was no no other reason. You know, he just was that kind of guy. At this point, it's unclear what happened to Josh out there on the water. There is a memorial paddle set for this Sunday at 10 a.m. at Hunter Springs Park, followed by a celebration of life at 6 p.m. In Crystal River, Haley Hines, Fox 13 News.